Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 83. I am getting on the podcast today on this pre-record just to give you a little inspiration, let you know that what you're doing is valued, and if it is helping, if it is building your financial propensity, if it is making people desire the brand in which you're servicing, you're doing a great job. If people are coming to your establishment, you're doing a great job. You know, I love to provide people with the opportunity to help themselves. And in providing them the opportunity to help themselves as a grassroots uh, program, you can't help everybody. Some people will take what you give them and use it against you. Some people will... Uh, work to sabotage what it is you're doing. And some people will be very, very, very grateful and they will spread the word. They will give accolade. They will tell you to keep going. And so you have to remember to hold space in all of those certain areas. Don't take it personal when people show you otherwise than gratitude. Don't take that personal take that as a mental health issue on the other side of those uh, coming at you. See, mental health is very strong in business because as entrepreneurs, we're going to face individuals who are not all the way there. So you being the forefront, it's kind of like holding up the armor of protection. But sometimes the armor needs to be reconstructed. Sometimes the armor needs to be re-welded. And sometimes the sword gets dull. So we got to know at what point are we fighting the battle and is the battle worth fighting? So sometimes, you know, it's, it's very important as entrepreneurs to make sure that we have what it takes in order to build the stamina. So that means meditate, motivate yourself and get your rest. Take care of yourself because every day is a battle. It is a never ending battle when it comes down to something that you're doing passionate that others wish they could do that others see from a different perspective what they think they see, but it may not be what that is. So you have to empower yourself and inspire yourself to build the circle of protection around you. You know, someone asked me the other day, do I have a judge on my board of directors? Do I have significant individuals on my board of directors to be able to protect me under certain circumstances? Do I have an attorney? Do I have a doctor? Do I have a professor? These are important individuals to have on your board, not to more or less get you out of something or promote something so that others will know. And then you got that big leverage. No, it's not to do it that way because nobody deserves any type of special treatment and come up without having done the work. Okay. So that's just ethically moral. Okay. Nobody's going to give you a handout, no matter if you're new in this business capacity, no matter if you are someone who, you know, uh, just started, you're young, they're going to give you the hands-on instruction But all the passion and all the heart and all the ethics and all everything that's going to benefit is going to truly come from you. So as we walk through this entrepreneurial journey to our future, we will be able to sit back and look at things that we did in hindsight that did work and didn't work. So when we take individuals, uh, let's go back to mental health. Um, It's very important to understand the processes of how to handle and diffuse situations dealing with mental health individuals, people who do not see life the way that we see it, is not in our reality, maybe addictions, maybe um, alcoholism, maybe mental health, bipolar disorders, or whatever it is. 
So get in tune with individuals who can help you sort how to handle situations like that in business, especially if you're an entrepreneur going into counseling or you're an entrepreneur going into self-help because that is going to be an extreme area of clientele focus, mental health. Mm -hmm. I also want to let you know, not taking things personal and how people react to the things that you do in your business is very important because you will wear the heaviness of depression, the heaviness of confusion, the heaviness of, um, what is that word I'm trying to use here? Um, like you will be very, very depressed and stuck if you allow other people's actions to challenge what you do. If you know you've done your best, nobody can tell you otherwise. So it doesn't even matter whether they say this or they say that, whatever they say, let them say it. But you know in your heart what it is that drives you every day to do the things, to be the thing, the person that you're trying to be in this world. I also want to say that um, holding people accountable, holding people accountable entrepreneurs is a very vital thing in business. You know why? Because if you hold them accountable, you're going to have less stress. And uh, again, going back to sharpening that sword and welding that armor of protection around you every single day, we must do this. The importance of preparing our armor when we may not even need it because other people are not even at that level. But some will try you. And at that point, you must be prepared. You must be ready. And I'm talking ready for the fight of legal legalities, following the protocol of um, the way the ordinances work. And if it doesn't work for you and it's interfering with what you do, you got to learn to go to that state level, that higher level, that federal level, and you got to come back with precedence. You got to come back ready to fight mentally because people will try to dumb you down water you down, put you into a box that will just keep you there stuck. And that is the reason why so many communities suffer because the powers that be will not allow people to be genuinely who they are. Now, mind you, there are going to be people who are doing things underhanded you know, illegal. Um, and I'm not talking illegal as far as like not knowing the laws and rules and regulations or something, you know, as simple as have, being a landlord and having to, you know, make sure that you put carbon monoxide detectors and smoke alarms in your, your um, establishment or in your apartments or houses. Not illegal like that, but it could be that that could be an infraction. You know, that's just like driving. You're a new driver and, you know, the speed limit is 35. Say you're going over 38 and somebody just, a police officer just happens to see you. Every time you go over the speed limit, you are subjecting yourself to something illegal that you are doing on the road. But how many people are rushing to get where they need to be. These are things we need to think about. So when you sit back and you judge someone for being doing something illegal, it could be as little or as big as whatever it could be. But it doesn't matter in the eyes of the law. It is what it is, okay? We have to learn to use precedence over that and see how it's being done in other communities. And even though it's not being done here, well, it is time to change. It is time to upgrade. And a community must learn how to upgrade so entrepreneurs can do what they need to do with the changing of times 
How many people have looked at the legality of marijuana, but those who have been incarcerated before the legality, before the legalization, they had to serve time. So there's a, there's a shift. There's a new day. There's a new change in the way society should be looking. And it should be looking towards the future, the future of change. A lot of people don't like change. Why? Because it makes them uncomfortable. It makes them think outside of the box and go to get more research, go to be more uncomfortable, to learn this new thing. But the reality of it is, is you're not stuck in the Barney Fife community anymore. This is a new day, a new time, a new way, a new experience, a new process, a new practice. And if we don't get with it, the laws will become outdated. And before you know it, civil lawsuits will be in effect on so many levels. And entrepreneurs, get your attorneys, get your newly found attorneys who know the laws in which your state and your local ordinances makes legal so that you will have a fighting chance. And even if you don't have the ability to get a good attorney within the community in which you live, you can learn how to look at other ordinances and compare and contrast and provide precedence to the things that is stifling and holding you back. You know? And this is what I wanted to share as well. You know, I, I'm not the type of podcast that goes around and talks about gossip. But yes, I could talk about gossip. I could talk about the way the haters go behind your back and say the things that they say about you. And the reason you know it is because you told hater one something different than you told hater two that connects with one, two, and three. Hater three over here decides that they're going to get together and form a gossip session. So when the when the gossip starts to travel and it comes back to you, you know exactly who said what. And it's sad. We have to be manipulative just to gain leverage to get what we want to make sure that the lies are not being exposed as truth. And this is a society we live in. We live in that type of world. We live in a world where lies are more accepted than truth. And then there's that other world where people pretend to be so saddened and can't believe that this is going on. But they're the main ones that's pushing it. They're the, they're the gossip pushers. They're the hater pushers. They're the ones that's putting your name out there and giving you the accolade and giving you the support that you need so that others will in turn come just to see if you have it or if you don't. So stay constantly learning how to be prepared for all things coming at you so that you will be able to discern. You'll be able to discern why how people move and they move weird. They move consistently weird sometimes when they're trying to find uh, out what it is that they're looking for. What are you looking for? What are you searching for in someone else's lane? <laughs> wasting your life, wasting your time. But that's how people use their time. And we have to be so committed and dedicated to what we value that none of that even matters. None of it matters. So entrepreneurs, I, I say to you, this is a great day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This day is so great. It is filled with ultimate protection. It is fueled with the possibilities of being everything and anything we decided that we chose to want to be. This is the time where you take your energy 
and you go out there and you promote what it is that you're trying to do with your life, whether it's just getting your house organized for a pagan holiday, okay? Whether it's you trying to just give thanks and create a ritual that you do on a daily basis to give thanks, to look back to your ancestors and say, I give honor to you in this way. And this is how you do it. See, there's so much to be grateful for. There's so much to be acknowledged. Great, great individual. Shout out to my dear friend, Joshua. I am going to share a story about a wonderful person. A wonderful person who is always professional, a great entrepreneur in his establishment, in his business, in his career. And Joshua is, I swear, he is the business of the year because of how much investment that this man takes with each client that he services. And, you know, when you get down to basic life opportunities, such as safety within a home, this gentleman right here is above all when it comes down to being genuine, real. Sometimes, you know, we misunderstand each other, but in the end, it all works out. It all works out. Mm hmm. Yeah, so these power pushers that think they're doing something with their life because they sit up and watch soap operas all day and then try to bring that stuff into the real world. The narcissists, the gaslighters, <laughs> the 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 um, the fuel injectors, the ones that just push push the fuel through the pumps and the line and and just gives it the gas. Oh yeah. They're even stronger than the gas lighters, you know? Everything is all about building one's motive to why they do what they do. Why would someone want to destroy another person's success? Why? Because they have no idea of how to do anything pow more powerful than what they see. It's inherent. And those people are the ones, and this is what is so crazy. Those people are the ones that make entrepreneurs greater based on the experience. Because when these people do these unconsiderable things that a normal person, because again, we got to think mental health issues, trauma issues, bonds of craziness issues and when these people get to that level they teach us something and this is where we either it makes or breaks us if we are aware that we are being taught a lesson then we update ourselves we upgrade ourselves we make things better for us so the next time we're able to successfully maneuver right through that path and get to our destination because that's what we're doing, right? Entrepreneurs, we're getting to the destination of our future success, our journey into our future. So if that is a blockage in a pathway, we got to learn to maneuver and go a different route. And that's what's so significant about being who you are and being loyal to yourself, being self-aware, taking care of yourself, and then looking back over your situation and putting hindsight in a better focus. So when you see it again, which you will, it'll bypass the peripherals again. You're going to be able to be a success at it. The first time, maybe not. But as you grow to know what the game is, you learn how to follow the rules. You start to learn that this is a game and this is how 
the powers that be manipulate and rule the game. Okay? And when we learn that is the rule, we follow the rule, then guess what? The powers that be has what? Absolutely no power because we're within the rights and the leverages. That's why people love to know what's going on in something new. They want to get the blueprint because they want to see where they can work to destroy the future of that blueprint based on what you've already said you were going to do at the grass level, at the base level. They're trying to destroy it before it's even built. And the way that we give entrepreneurs, the way that we give our legacy away is by telling our blueprint. Silence is the key. Again, tell that person one thing, tell that second person something else, tell that third person something else. When the powers that become with their sword and shield, you're already prepared. You already knew it was coming. You already expected it to come. Just because you wanted to see who was who around your camp. Try that with your neighbors. Sit back and tell neighbor one something that is worth gossiping about. That whether you hear it or not, it's not going to defame you or hurt you. Go tell something in number two, the opposite of what you told number one. And go tell number three, the third person. You will learn out of the three who is the gossiper based upon how people respond to you from that point, how people shy away from you from that point, how people come to you with boldness and ask you, well, how do you do this and how do you do that? I always have a million different stories to tell. And they're all true. They're all true to an extent, but not to the degree of what I say it is. Because especially in the manipulative perspective of gaining leverage, as my friend Bryson says, to make sure we know who our manipulators and narcissists are. And that's the way you have to think, entrepreneurs. Now, mind you, you have to be as clean and pure and legal as you can because it can backfire on you. But play the game. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm at that point where, yeah, let's play the game because I've sat back and I've looked for many years at a corrupt community was always looking at how did it get this way? How does a person allow, you know, opportunities for homelessness to take place when you destroy homes every day? You demolish homes every day when they can be rebuilt. I've rebuilt homes. We've rebuilt them. But the reality of it is, without those individuals being available for the prison system, for the system of control, manipulation, and all of that, others wouldn't make money. And I get that. I'm not trying to save the world. I'm just trying to put a little bit of focus and a little bit of passion of what I believe into my heart and let it see it manifest to bring me financial abundance for my family, financial, you know, support, and that good feeling. That's it. And if I, if you can have it, I can have it. And I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because I am not hurting anyone. I'd rather say that I have helped hundreds than to do something illegal and hurt hundreds. And that's what I want to say today. And I want you to put this in your heart space, entrepreneurs. Be the best you can be. Be as consistent. Be as ready. Be as real. And be on time. And you know what? Wear those shoes that feel most comfortable for you. Because you rocking them things. And it's showing. It's showing. Keep wearing them. Keep showing up. Keep being your ultimate best. And we'll see you next time.